I don't know what's going on, but y'all better fix that shit expeditiously. So Kodak Black is in the news again for saying some pretty stupid shit. And I know the obvious answer here is to be upset with Kodak Black because of the Nipsey Hussle situation, Lauren London being connected to this man, him disrespecting her in that way. I know a lot of people are in their emotions and their feelings about it, but I'm kind of wondering why. You have a handful of rappers, say somebody like The Game, right? They came out and said what he said to Kodak Black in response to Kodak Black saying that he pretty much wanted to get with Lauren London not that long after Nipsey's passing. Completely ignorant statement, totally understand the look. But then I go back into the game's history and I look at what he just did late last year, which was try to make music centered around calling out the wives of men who were in the industry right now for sleeping with him before they got with their current, in a way disrespecting them and disrespecting the men that they were with. Now, I know people are gonna bring up the next argument. Well, they are not dead. Come on, really? Well, that's like a straw man argument, right? Like, it doesn't matter if the person is dead or alive. This is someone's wife and they're in a marriage or in a relationship. You're being disrespectful to the relationship in its entirety, not just to one person. When I looked at the game come out and say what he said in response to Kodak Black saying what he said about Lauren London, I immediately thought to myself, well, this is a guy that looks at Lauren London as Nipsey Hussle's property which is why a lot of people are upset with what Kodak Black said about Lauren London, because they don't view her as her own individual, they view her as his property. You are something that was connected to Nipsey. It would be the same thing if Kodak said something about Nipsey's kids, Nipsey's business, Nipsey's house, Nipsey's hometown. They look at her as a part of Nipsey. Now to a degree, I understand why you would look at her that way. It makes sense. This is something that Nipsey cared about, something that Nip Nipsey cherished, something that he loved. But it let me know, again, where my morality when it comes to rap music stands, because I've said this before, that rap music tends to move like the Catholic Church. I felt like people were outraged over this situation, and I understand the outrage and where it comes from, it being so close. Like I said, Kodak Black is a complete fucking idiot, a complete moron, but... Sometimes his moronic behavior makes other people seem smarter than they actually are because they come out and say the obvious moral shit that's supposed to be said in response to Kodak saying whatever it is that he said, the dumb shit. So then they prop themselves up above Kodak and make themselves seem as if they're being this philosophical individual for propping up their own morality, when in reality you're just saying some pretty obvious shit to a dumb individual trying to make yourself seem smart. Which is why we should just pay Kodak no attention whatsoever. But I was making a point about the rap game moving like the Catholic Church. Kodak Black is going through some rape charges right now. I found it funny that people didn't want to start like really majorly canceling him until he said this shit about Lauren London connecting him to Nipsey Hussle, I found it odd the majority of the rap game didn't feel the need to cancel him, quote unquote, and remove his face from museums. He, he says some really funny shit in regards to T.I. taking his face off of that museum because he said, you didn't get my permission in the first place. He's stupid. I just found it odd that the whole rap game wanted to remove Kodak for saying what he said about Lauren London because they want so hard to respect Nipsey Hussle most of whom who are defending her in this situation haven't reached out to her, haven't asked her any questions, haven't said, are you okay? Haven't said, how are the kids? Probably have asked none of those questions, but are defending Nipsey Hussle's honor. They're not really defending Lauren London. They're defending his name. And I know people are gonna say, well, his rape charges, they're just charges. They're not convictions yet. Me personally, I've looked at the evidence and I'm not gonna say it's a home run, but it's definitely not something you're just gonna walk away from. So I found it telling that hip hop decided that they wanted to get him out of here for saying what he said about Lauren London, which they really don't care about what he said about Lauren London. I think a lot more of them care about what he was saying as her connection is to Nipsey Hussle more than it is her being her own individual. But again, that's another story. You got him out of there for that, but not for the pending rape charge that has a lot of damning evidence. Another thing I don't like about this situation is how rappers tend to handle it. Like T.I. in the game and whoever else came out and said what they said in response to Kodak Black. I know a lot of them portray themselves as having good intentions and I don't wanna make it seem like they're coming from a horrible place, but you can't sit up here and act like you're not disrespecting the kid the same way he was disrespecting whoever it is that you felt he was disrespecting, when you tell him, take that shit down, remove this, check yourself, what are you gonna do? Kodak is 23 years old, a dude from the hood, and I'm sure any other person that talks to him in that way, he's gonna be like, why are you posturing? Why are you 
getting on social media trying to act like you're gonna do something to me if i don't go with what it is that you say which is how a lot of rappers that are older tend to carry themselves as if there's gonna be this major consequence to a younger guy if he doesn't respond the way they want him to thereby making yourself look cringy for trying to portray the tough guy image even though you're really not gonna do anything to this guy and giving him more attention just for being a fucking idiot kodak being from where kodak is from clearly doesn't see a problem with his actions and i'm not giving him a pass for that i'm definitely advocating for change but the change isn't going to come through a 45 second to 60 second uh, rant on instagram telling him that he better change the way he speaks or else if y'all were really concerned about this kid's well-being and you wanted him to change his communication you could have easily picked up the phone and called them. Y'all are all tied up in the industry. I know you probably have this kid's phone number. This isn't one of those situations you need to take to social media because you already know it's fucking insane. Any person that's adding their opinion to this in regards to jumping on the hate for Kodak Black bandwagon in response to what he said to Lauren London is in my opinion, just looking for attention. Because not only are you not saying anything new, you're just adding fuel to the fire. Kodak Black is acting exactly how I would expect someone from Kodak Black area to behave a guy that only is concerned with making his money and getting him and his people out of the hood and after that it's smooth sailing he can do whatever the fuck he wants after that that is his only concern if you really wanted to give him insight and make sure his communication grew beyond what it is right now you would have spoke to him you have to understand there were only two steps for a guy like kodak get his friends and family out of the hood and staying rich and after that it's an easy ride that's all he's that's all he thought he had to do that's it so when everybody else tries to give him advice and tries to come at him and all these legal matters he you, you could tell he doesn't care nobody's gonna touch this kid nobody's gonna harm this kid they're not regardless of all this outrage on social media nothing is gonna happen to this kid nothing he tried to come out and apologize after but then the apology just made him more solidified in his stupidity it just made him more solidified in what he was trying to say before he meant what he said but he didn't mean to come off disrespectful if he did so to end this video off i think what ti and game and anybody else that's coming after this dude for what he said are are justified in their uh awkward look maybe at kodak but coming out to say all this shit that they're trying to say to an audience that already knows what they're saying is kind of irrelevant when the person you should be speaking to clearly does not who are you going to get brownie points for or with if you're not talking to the person whose communication you want to change instead you're talking to an audience that already knows that they agree with you now does that make sense for somebody that's actually trying to advocate for growth or any kind of mental evolution i don't think so though i get why you would do it to respect your fallen friend i think more respect to lauren london should be shown than just nipsey hustle's property and kodak black can you please stop saying stupid shit like this because every time you're in a headline every time i hear people saying the exact same shit trying to make themselves seem smart when really you're just stupid sometimes just put your phone down from time to time okay just put it away don't go on ig live don't do anything all right your phone is is your kryptonite put it down sometime when you, whenever you're with friends just don't talk turn everybody's phones off okay because bad things tend to happen when there's devices on and recording and you're in the same room all right turn them off because i'm tired of everybody on my timeline making themselves seem intelligent when really they're just coming at a stupid thought it's a stupid comment you're not smart for saying that it's stupid